Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back. Have you been worried about your relationship? Do you feel yourself drifting apart from them? Relationships, whether platonic or romantic, require work and effort from both parties. It doesn't evolve or improve on its own. So if you've been feeling more distant from your partner or friend lately and want to find ways to improve on your relationship, here are six ways to make your relationship stronger. Number one, set boundaries. Did you think that boundaries are set to keep people out? Setting boundaries within a relationship may seem counterintuitive, but setting and changing your boundaries can actually help you strengthen your relationships. The purpose of setting boundaries is not to keep people out, but rather to communicate your needs and limits to each other. In this way, you can become more comfortable with sharing and learning about each other while also respecting each other's values, time, and space. The boundaries you set may change as your relationship develops and deepens because your needs may change as you grow together. Number two. Mind your space. Do you think that you have to be with each other all the time for your relationship to work? Oftentimes, this assumption can lead to the end of a relationship. This is because everyone, even the most extroverted person, needs some time for themselves. Time spent alone helps with personal growth and independence. As Esther Perel shared with Very Well, when intimacy collapses into fusion, it is not a lack of closeness, but too much closeness that impedes desire. Our need for togetherness exists alongside our need for separateness. Thus, separateness is a precondition for connection. This is the essential paradox of intimacy. Number three, be vulnerable. Are you scared to open up to them? Being vulnerable can be frightening for some since it means opening up to someone about your perceived flaws and negative traits. Vulnerability is a blind spot. Meredith Resnick, LCSW, the creator of shamerecovery.com, recommends couples to get curious about their blind spots. If you learn to be curious and accepting of the things you do not want to confront, it opens doors to growth and love. Remember that your vulnerabilities are not flaws. It's part of who you are. When you're able to discuss your vulnerabilities in your relationship, it can also end up revealing aspects of yourself you may not have known before. Resnick states, for example, one partner might discover that their tendency to micromanage people is related to their fear of abandonment. Once you've become aware of these tendencies, you can try to work on them, which may improve your quality of life. Number four, spend time together. While this point does contradict the tip about spending time alone, in relationships and in life, nothing is dichotomous. Just as you both need time apart to grow as individuals, you also should spend time together. It's important to find a balance where you both spend enough time together, but not so much that you both get tired of being around each other. After all, spending time to get to know and learn about each other is the engine that moves relationships forward. Number five, take accountability. Do you tend to blame the circumstance or other people when things go wrong? Pride and ego do not have space in a relationship as they can cause tension and create chasms. Leaving arguments unresolved or refusing to apologize when you hurt one another can lead to problems in your relationship. This is why it's important to think about how your actions can affect the other person and hold yourself accountable for what you do. And finally, number six, appreciate each other. Have you ever told them how important they are to you? It's always a miracle whenever someone is willing to walk alongside you as a friend or as a romantic partner. So it's always nice to show gratitude for their companionship. As humans, we usually focus on the negative aspects of a relationship. So it's easy to feel underappreciated especially in a romantic relationship, even though it may be difficult. Whether it's to reminisce about all the happy moments you had with each other, buy them small gifts, or to just tell them how much they mean to you. You can strengthen your relationship when you remind them of how important they are to you. Did you find this video helpful? Let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure to like and subscribe and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video.